on. Just... Hey guys, Targo Cycle and FPV here, and doing a real quick video the third time around because there were so many things to change for this video, but the third time around, uh, and the video is actually going to cover the um, Foxier Mix, right, which is the uh, uh, camera and the DVR combination from Foxier, the new one, and a problem that I just had with it, and uh, <coughs> me and Foxier don't seem to see eye to eye on this, or at least not yet, and I'm hoping that this video will help shed some light on this. So let me show you what we're working with here. Kind of, I did do an open box thing where I was showing you guys <coughs> hey, this is a new one open box, but unfortunately we have to stop the video and get some things adjusted here. So let me clean up. Here's what I've done. Um, this is the Foxier mix that I was flying yesterday and the day before. It's brand new. It went in one of my brand new builds uh, that I was testing and uh, we did about 20 to 30 flights with it and there was not a single problem. Okay. <coughs> now, all of a sudden, uh, once I got a memory full or SD card full error uh, or message, I took out the SD card, put in a new one, and that was the end of it. I lost all the power on my board, my camera quit working, and I had no more video, and that was the end of the flying day, okay? So I came back, and I sent Foxy a picture, contacted them, and I sent them a picture of this board. And what they said was, and I have to show you this so that you can understand it, there is on this board, and this one's I've already pulled off, but this board comes with two ways to connect your wires. You can either use a pin connection, at which time, like most, this will sit on here like this, right and you plug in your pins or like the manual says which is right here uh, you can use the pin connection method or you can use a soldering pad connection method and below it says note both work you can choose either way so like with most builds I removed the pins okay and I soldered directly to the board when I told them it wasn't working they asked to see a picture and then they said the reason it doesn't work is because this pin is missing and I'm like no that's not true because uh, you don't have to have the pins and we do that all the time with all the builds that we do in order to compact uh, the build So I took a and it was running on HDLRC F3 F4 V6, which is sitting right here I've got the uh, camera. I mean, I've got the antenna in and I've got everything wired, right? And over here is the very small but very effective um, little monitor, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on and We've got our camera ready to go and we've got everything wired Nothing else on here, and we're gonna power it up, okay? And what we're gonna do is, let's find our channel. Let me find the channel here. Oops, I just had it. I'll let it scan real quick and I'll come back to it in a second. All right, so as you can see, we have everything working fine. Say hi, I think you're on the camera, I can't tell. This is, there he is. You got a whole bunch of stuff in your face, but that is Jeff Campbell right there, still hanging out with me. Um, all right, so to Fox here, uh, my thing is this, um, the reason it's not working over here on this one has nothing to do with these pins. And, and, and the problem I have with that is, I mean, I, I like Fox here, don't get me wrong, I, I really do. Obviously, I'm a dealer for them and I really like it, but I'm going to be very clear about something. Um, I have the ability to test these and I have 20 of them in stock. So for me, if somebody tells me that's what's wrong, I'm, I mean, I know mathematically or whatever, it wouldn't make any sense because it worked, it functioned without that the first 30 flights. For you guys who buy one, if you're told the same thing, I think you're gonna basically absorb it. And then you're like, well, crap, I just did it. It must've been something I did. And you're out the money, and I'm not cool with that. So I'm presenting this to Fox here, and I'm letting you guys know about it because I think it's important to see what their response will be now. Um, my intention was to send them the board or have them give me a, an idea of what it was, but I can't rightfully sell these to my customers and then something go wrong and it'd be blamed. I mean, the first thing they asked me is, did it crash? Well, I think that's a very, interesting question to ask somebody who flies drones because yeah it crashes all the time i mean we all crash them but it survived after that and has been recording since so if the question is does did it crash um yes it did and i told him that but it didn't stop recording then all right um as far as it being if you remove the pins for those of you that do like i do and remove that and then solder directly i don't want you guys to have to be taking taking the blame for it because you took those off because that actually has nothing to do with this whatsoever so fox here it's up to you um, I like your brand, I, I really do, and I'm not dogging you by any means, but I think there needs to be more than just, you took the pins off, it doesn't work, all right? I want a better analysis of this, and to show you guys that that's not the case, just like we did now, connected everything back up, and as you can see, if I turn the screen on, uh, we've got video, okay? And that's it. 
Now, one thing I didn't try, which I'd like to do now before I end this video, is I'm gonna try to replace the camera. This is a new board, a new camera. I'm gonna take the old camera and put it on here and see if we can track down where the short might be. Powered up. And we have video again. So what we know is the camera's good. The board's not. And just to make this a little more interesting, we'll go ahead now, remove the cameras, leave the screen on, and I think I'll just swap the boards while we're doing this. I'll switch screens real quick. And let's just go ahead and see so we can demonstrate how it doesn't work, right? So we'll take our video off. Take our ground off. Take our power off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this board. We're gonna put them back on. We're gonna go in the same order, video first. Start from out to in. One, ground, next. Two, undo power. Make sure we don't have anything grounded out. Make sure the power and the ground are not touching. Okay, looks clear there. And now, go ahead and turn this on. Now, as you can see in the video, and I'll actually switch the screen back. Okay, here's what we've got. We know our VTX is working, right? We've got no light on here. I power it off and I put on the camera that we know the cameras are good. Plug them in. Turn it back on. We still have nothing. I know I've got voltage here because it works on this board. I know the camera's good because it works on this board. But what I can tell you is we have nothing. We have no, no heating components. It's not like there's a regulator that's out or anything else. We literally have nothing to the board. It's dead. I want this problem solved. That's what I'm looking for. So I need an answer to this, please. All right? And we know it's not because of the pins because we tested that here and this worked fine without the pins. So that's it, guys. That's my thing on it. Like I said, I'm not dog and fox here by any means, but I do think we need a little bit more of an expert answer on this than just you took the pins off. Because if you guys do the same thing, you guys could end up without the money if they're not gonna warranty it. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If not, uh, I'll let you guys know what I hear from Foxier and any updates. Thanks guys and talk to you soon, bye.